So what's going on guys? Today I have a very special and value packed video. If you're a macOS user, then you might want to stick around. I'm going to go over 10 of the apps that I use daily as a productive remote worker. And the best part is that these 10 apps are extremely cheap. So you should be able to get your hands on most of them without paying a single cent. So let's dive right into that. And also don't forget to let me know at the end of this video if you found some of these apps useful or if you have some other recommendation that I should add to my stack. With that being said, let's do it. All right, so let's get started. I got my fun juice here, AKA cider, cause I'm a cider lover guys. And yeah, let's go speed running over these 10 apps that you should definitely have for your Mac OS. So number one here, it's gonna be amphetamine. Oh, you might notice some of this stuff is in Russian and that's because it's just detecting my location as Russia right now, cause I'm in Russia. So yeah, just never mind about that. They're available in all of the Mac OS stores so you can just download from your own country's store. So what does amphetamine do? Amphetamine is, if you look at the top right here, it's this little ball right here, and it basically prevents your Mac from going to sleep. So right now it's active. If you see the lines really up, and if the line's horizontal, that means it's inactive. Now, why might you want to do this? And I think the answer is, it really depends. I hate my Mac just going to sleep when I'm working from home. I might stand up for a couple of minutes, and then, oh, I gotta log back in. That just not my style. The other reason and more functional, you might say, is if you're downloading some files, some torrents, whatever it is, you don't want your Mac to go to sleep because your hard drives will go to sleep as well and then your download might stop. So just using amphetamine for those couple of reasons, it's enough for me to recommend it for you. Also, it's entirely free, so just go ahead and try it and you'll see what I mean. Number two on the list, it's Hotkey. Now, Hotkey is a shortcut manager. What that means is that you can essentially use shortcuts for any app that you might like or folders also. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that works. If I just press my shortcut, I can use an app, in this case Notion. I can go back to the other app. I can go ahead, go back to Notion, open my downloads folder, and just because all of them are tied to shortcuts. So this is how simple it is. You can tie it any type of thing that you want, including folders, applications, and maybe some other stuff that I haven't really played around, but that is enough for me to recommend it to you. Now, Hotkey is also entirely free and you can go ahead and download it to try it out. Number three on the list is Alt-Tab. Now, Alt-Tab, if you're familiar, if you were at some point in your life a Windows user, you know how easy it is to switch Windows in Windows. <laughs> Yeah, but in Mac, it's way more complicated, right? You got this tab switcher thing where you can see all your tabs from app above, and I just hate that experience. So Alt-Tab makes it Windows-like. You can basically see everything that you have open here. You can close it with a click of a button as well, and you can get right into anything that you want. So if I want to open one password, it's in the background, but it's still running, so you might see that. Or if I want to go back to Notion, I just click it like this. I can close it as well. Or I can just switch between any windows that I have active and just go right like that. Now, Alt-Tab is also entirely free. You can support it by donating a couple bucks, which I would always recommend. Now, the number four app and the last app that it's entirely free in our list, it's Peak. Now, Peak was created by a good user, my good friend, Pratik. And I hope I'm not butchering your name, man, but I really love what you did. So Peek is a way to access ChatGPT and any other LLM that you might want. So how it works is you just have this floating window right here. You can select either ChatGPT, Gemini, Perplexity, or even more options if you go to the settings like Claude, for instance. Now you just have access to your favorite large language model anytime you want. And as you can see, the window will stay floating. If I'm doing something in the background, I can also just quickly hide it, bring it back up. If you need fast answers or to do some fast math equations or text corrections, now you have a way to do it extremely fast. Now, number five on the list is probably my favorite app in the last couple of years, and that is Super Whisper. I was really looking for a solution like Super Whisper for a long time, so I don't never get tired of recommending this app. And it's simply put voice to text transcription, but done extremely well. Now, if you have a look at Super Whisper's website, you'll see that they have a free tier, which is enough in my mind to get you started and have a real feel for the experience without having to pay for all those pro features. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean with Super Whisper here. I might just go ahead and start recording with Super Whisper and you'll notice that everything I'm, that I'm saying right now will get transcribed into text as soon as I press this shortcut. And boom, there we go. So you can see that it's extremely accurate and that's because I'm using like one of the large models that they offer, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can also tie it to specific prompts in case you want this text to be formatted in a particular way. Let's say if you're writing emails, you can prompt it so that it gets structured like an email or any type of text that you need. It's really amazing. It's really awesome. So I really recommend Super Whisper to everybody. But guys, try it out and let me know what you think. Now, number six on the list is Magnet. Now, Magnet, again, is just another quality of life improvement for your Mac. And it's a way to control your windows. So you see how I'm doing this really quickly here just to show you what I mean with magnet and yeah I mean now you got two size three windows here that you can kind of stick anywhere you want okay this window's not working ignore that but yeah this is basically what you can do with magnet you can make them big in the in one minute make them small kind of switch places if you like and I'm forgetting some of the shortcuts for magnet but I usually use it to just either maximize or transfer to another screen if I have a second screen, which I always do. So yeah, just go ahead, try Magnet out. I believe Magnet is $5 and it's just a one-time purchase. So there's really no excuse for you not to try Magnet. Now, number seven on the list, it's gonna be Joink. And Joink is also one of my favorite apps out there. So I'm gonna show you what I mean right here. Let's go up to Notion, expand it, use it Magnet show you with what this joint does so let's say you have something on your downloads folder i have a screenshot right here i'm gonna go ahead and drag it here to the left and this is when joint enters the game you can see that it lights up and you're able to drop things and just drop in them now you might go to another folder like documents and just have this file available for you to drag and drop i can go ahead do the same close this window it doesn't matter it's gonna stay there for a while open up again any folder that you might like and drag it back there. Another huge quality of life improvement, in my opinion, Joink is totally worth it. And it is around $9. Also a one-time purchase, so I totally recommend it. Now let's go ahead for number eight, and that is CleanShot X. CleanShot is a script capture manager, and it works like pretty much any other type of screen capture software but you get a lot of features that are extra and in my opinion, worth paying. So you can see that the lowest plan that you have is a $29 one-time payment and it, this gets you, I think, like one year of updates and you can renew for 19 bucks for an additional year. But let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna take a screenshot here. And then you see that it gets pinned. So if I'm doing something else, it's not really in my way. But I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in clean shots so you can see why it's so amazing. So what I usually do before sending any type of screenshot to my colleagues is adding some padding so it's looking nice. You know, perhaps I need to show them something, right? Like let's use an arrow here. Okay, there you go. We can make your red, make it even bigger if you wanna attract some attention. Have a circle here, one-time payment, guys, don't worth this opportunity and add some text. Clean shot is amazing. There you go. And now you got a nice screenshot that you can use as whatever it is that you need, a guide or just showing. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and click done and you're now you're able to save it and it, it's on your download folder. Simple as that and it's looking pretty professional. Now, another thing you can do with clean shot that I love is the text capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this tool to show you how it works. I'm gonna hover over this clean shot stuff, go back to Notion and click paste. You can capture text from any part of your screen and it's extremely useful for quick copy and paste. Now you can do a lot of other things with clean shot like screen record as well. Super useful for that. And yeah, just try it out. It's a 29 one-time payment, so I definitely recommend it. Now, number nine, as we're getting down in the list, we go a little bit more expensive, but this is Alfred. And Alfred, it's a $39, I think. 
yearly payment, if I'm not mistaken, or at least until they get a next big update. Now, Alfred is just a better spotlight for your Mac. You can think about it like that. Anyway, so let's go ahead back to Notion here and use Alfred to do something like, for example, access my shortcuts. So I'm going to go ahead and C, and I have some of my shortcuts that I typically use, like word count. So you can just select this stuff, click SC, word count. Oh, sorry. And this will tell me how many characters or words I have here, 29 words. Um, you can use it to open any type of software, you know, extremely fast. You also have a notepad integrated with that, which is extremely useful. Um, sorry, it's a clipboard manager. So everything that you actually pasted and copy it, it's going to be stored there for you to just quickly access it if you need it again. Alfred is just amazing. It gives you a ton of customization options. Let's go ahead and do the emojis. Smile. And now you can now quickly find your emojis and smile all the way to heaven. There you go. Get Alfred. It's really amazing. You can do a bunch of other things that I hadn't shown you, like finding your contacts. And I'm just kind of remembering things and doing them, but uh yeah this is kind of how it looks if you're curious about it <laughs> just go ahead go to alfred's website and check it out i think you will also be amazed by its capabilities now let's go ahead to the final recommendation i have in this top 10 cheap list and that is text spander now text spander is going to run you about 40 bucks per year in the individual plan but let's go ahead and show you what does it do so TextPander is a snippet manager, and what snippets are are essentially pieces of text that you have saved somewhere, in this case in TextPander, and yeah, they allow you to replace any text with another text. So it's a text replacement tool. So for instance, if I want to write my email somewhere, I just don't want to take two hours to do it, so I might just do EML, and that would automatic automatically auto-replace my email right there. Then I have some of my prompts for AI work as well. So if I just write casual, I have a correction prompt in this case, correct the following text, check for mistakes in grammar, spelling, and you kind of get the point. You can use it to really save big, big chunks of paragraph sentences, whatever you need. If you're working in something where you're constantly using prompts for AI, like text corrections, like I just show you, it's extremely useful and it's one of those things that saves you time but also saves your mind all the hassle and gets you feeling good instead of annoyed for just typing some stuff that you're typing a thousand times a day. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you saw some app that got your attention, got you interested in downloading it, trying it out. If you did, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to a folder with all of the links down in the description. Also, if you're new here, my name is Fernando Anselmi. I've been traveling the world as a nomad for over five years. And this channel is all about sharing my stories, kind of my travels, and also helping you be more productive as I, myself, try to be more productive while working remotely in this amazing age. Anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. They'll help me out a ton as I'm starting out in YouTube. And I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching.